So a little while ago, I was perusing the aisles of my local supermarket, crossing off items off the list on my notes app, when I came across the egg aisle. Now when it comes to choosing my eggs, I don't want all the frills, all that virtue signaling about pasture raised and cage free. I just usually go for the most ordinary looking gray carton, you know, like normal eggs. But this last time, there were just so many different types to choose from that I couldn't even find my regular old gray carton. And that got me thinking, what do all these different types and labels even mean? How does an egg become grade A? What is the difference between large and jumbo? I didn't have time to look them all up then, so I just took one and left. And when I got home and was alone with my own thoughts, instead of just ranting in my truck about how the world is changing in ways I don't understand, I do what I normally do when I want to learn something, and that's research it for the purposes of making content. So here it goes. In America, some of us are pretty hung up on our food being natural and organic, but rarely know what that actually means. In regards to eggs, all natural and farm fresh are really just marketing terms and tell us nothing about how the eggs are produced or about the hens laying them. In my case, if I genuinely want farm fresh eggs, I have to get in my car and head to the local farm and buy them straight from the farmer, which is about a half hour drive, which isn't too bad, but not nearly as convenient as my five minute walk to Giant and certainly not accessible to those who don't have a car to drive at all. If you're looking for organic eggs though, that is actually a thing, but only if they have a US Department of Agriculture seal on the carton. Organic eggs are laid by free range hens and are fed organic feed like grains and plants. All good things, as they're both healthier for you and the chickens that lay them. And when it comes to enriched eggs or omega-3 eggs, these really are enriched, meaning they have more of the vitamins E, D, and B12 and have less saturated fat and lower cholesterol. The hens who lay these eggs have flaxseed or supplemental vitamins that in turn enrich their eggs. So if you're watching your cholesterol or want more of those healthy fats, enriched eggs actually do make a difference. Now, what I've always wondered about is the difference between cage-free, pasture-raised, and free-range. All three of these labels means the hens weren't confined to cages. Cool, right? I thought so too, and then I dug a bit deeper. When hens aren't in cages, they sometimes don't have access to the outside either, and that can lead them to be crowded and injure each other. So these hens tend to have higher death rates and are given antibiotics, which may or may not make it to your plate. So when it comes to the cage-free label, be skeptical. While it's true that these hens are given free access to roam the facility they're in, some of them may only be indoors. So some of these hens have never, and probably will never, see the sun. And with free range eggs, these hens do have access to the outdoors, but not necessarily as much as it sounds. Because this access can vary, as free range hens only need to be outside for a portion of their lives. And sometimes even then, outside often means a small enclosed yards with other chickens. So if anything, I guess you can take solace in the fact that the hens have had a slightly better life. I guess. And with pasture raised, we run into a similar issue with a lack of clarity, as the US government hasn't technically defined what constitutes a pasture. So we can only guess what some companies are getting away with on this one. <laughs> but for the sake of this video, pasture raised generally means that these hens have spent at least a portion of their lives on a pasture. But again, the label pasture raised really doesn't tell you much if the FDA hasn't decided what a pasture is. Now, the labels I've gone over so far have all been about the lives of the hens. And there are still a couple more to look into. These just have less to do with how the chickens live and more to do with how the eggs themselves look. One could definitely say the US is a little fixated on appearances. And in this case, eggs are no exception, especially when it comes to egg color and size. Many stores sell white, brown, and sometimes even blue eggs. And there's no nutritional difference between these three whatsoever. The only difference is the breed of the hen that lays the eggs. Brown eggs end up costing more most of the time since the hens who lay them are a bit bigger and therefore costlier to care for than the others. Whereas blue eggs are their shade only because of a superficial chemical in their shell. Now in regard to size, you can typically find small, medium, large, extra large, or jumbo in grocery stores. They're measured by the dozen, not each individual egg. And of course, nutritional value correlates with the sheer volume overall. So that ultimately depends on how much you need for a certain recipe. If you wanna make an omelet that has some extra egg to it, extra large or jumbo is probably a better choice for your shopping list. So that's color and size. Now, what about those grades? In fact, not all eggs are graded. It's actually completely voluntary for producers to do, and they even have to pay for the grading service. But for the ones that do, we have AA, A, and B. And grading is all about quality. Grade AA is the highest quality egg. These are practically free from defects and never have broken shells. So going off that logic, A is good but not best, and B is the lowest grade. These are usually used for products or recipes that are frozen, liquid, or dried. 
For example, if you go to a grocery store and get organic, farm fresh, jumbo, grade A eggs, and verify that they are indeed organic, that means this particular batch of eggs has nothing necessarily farm fresh about them, but the eggs won't be stained or broken, and they're the heaviest dozen you'll find. To sum it up, America is great at providing lots of options for almost anything you would want. And the same goes with eggs. But like anything else, different labels or characteristics a company might promote for its product are sometimes just clever advertising techniques to get them to stand out from the crowd and convince you to give them more money. Just classic free market bullshit. So choose wisely and thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe.